Former Attorney General Kajetan Hood, whose law firm is one of two representing the six crew members of Harbour Master, said the incident on Wednesday night was blown out of proportion. Responding to the response by Grenadians to the incident, Hood says while he understands the reactions, he's reminding people that his client are citizens of CARICOM and are innocent until proven guilty. We are members of the CARICOM community and the Treaty of Chagam has guaranteed each one of us in those member countries equality of treatment. In reality, whatever might be out there, whatever videos or other things that might be out there, whatever statements might have been made, it is dangerous to jump to conclusions because remember, each person in Grenada under our constitution has the protection of the presumption of innocence. Secondly, each person, whatever the gravity of the crime, as Grenadians, we need to understand that everybody, each person who is threatened by criminal action, has a right to a defense. Hood confirmed that his law firm Hood and Hood was contracted by the harbor master to represent its crew members who were involved in the incident. The lawyer told the GBN that six crew members of Harbour Master remains in police custody. Where we are right now, I am not aware of anybody who has been charged so far. I know that the police were interested in, interested in interviewing at least six members of the of the company at which we are associated now. Um, and I, I want to compliment the police for moving swiftly and trying to get to the bottom of what has happened. Meanwhile, the Honorary Consulate for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in Grenada in a press release stated that the incident with Grenada's Anderson Peters and the Harbour Master has been the subject of ongoing communication between the government of Trinidad and Tobago and Grenada. They highlighted that the Minister of Foreign and Caricom Affairs in Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Amory Bowen, has reached out to Grenada's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Export Development, Joseph Andal, on the matter and has continued to remain in contact, expressing mutual hope that justice could be fully served. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear Thomas reporting.